more. Fans, if you would like to get your own personal message up on our video board at an upcoming home game, maybe to help you celebrate a birthday, anniversary, or any major milestone or special moment in your life, you can do so. For more information, just go to ArizonaCoyotes.com slash foundation, and we will make that happen. Now the man I am joined by right now was originally drafted back in 1989 by the Detroit Red Wings, the hockey team from my home state of Michigan. You later went on to play for the Winnipeg Jets as well as the Arizona Coyotes. Let's give it up for Dallas Drake. Your career actually went full circle. In 2008, you won the Stanley Cup while you were playing a one-year deal with the Detroit Red Wings. Nicholas Lidstrom handed the cup to you first. What do you remember about that moment when you had your hands on the coveted Stanley Cup? Well, I was finally excited I got to put my hands on it for one thing, but you know, a lot of emotions go through you at that time. You know, all the trials and tribulations you have over your career, just hoping for that opportunity to, to touch it and win it one day. And it's, uh, it's nothing I really can put into words. It's a real special time. One of those moments in your career that you will truly never forget. But when you were here playing for the Phoenix Coyotes, you have something pretty special to share. There was a song that was written and recorded by a local Phoenix band, and it's titled Dallas Drake. We got to see a clip of this last night at the anniversary dinner. Your other former teammates were giving you a really hard time about this. How did this come about? Did you know that a local band was actually writing and recording a song about you? I, I did not know at the time uh, when this song came out. Obviously, I got a good chance to meet these guys up at the rink one day. And you know, I remember all the bands playing in the games. We had bands playing in the stands at the time, and they were one of them. And uh, I, I took a lot of abuse over it. I'm not going to say I didn't, but it was a lot of fun. That was actually played many times during your career in NHL broadcasts. Do you feel that the song and the music video was an accurate depiction of yourself as a hockey player? I think so. I mean, I was a physical guy and I tried to help out any way I could and worked hard and I obviously liked the body check quite a bit and they liked to throw those clips in there and the song kind of dictated that. So it kind of, you know, that's what it was like. And it sounds like a friendship was then born because these are the band members who actually worked on creating that song. So you guys are still friends 20 years later. Yeah, it was good to see them again. I remember meeting them a long time ago. I still got pictures of, the, of when I first initially met them. So, And I'm not going to lie, my kids play that song at home every now and then. They bring it up on YouTube to razz me, so it's pretty funny. Well, we're going to have to play that at least one or two more times at some point throughout this night in honor of you and in honor of the 20th anniversary celebration. It's been a pleasure to have you here this weekend helping us celebrate. So thank you so much. Again, fans, let's give one more round of applause for Dallas Drake. Thank you. Dallas Drake, Dallas Drake. He didn't come to see a fight, but if it happens, that's all right. Okay, maybe. Valley Honda dealer's second intermission is underway. Tough night for the Coyotes thus far. San Jose has pushed the game along. It's now 3-0 after two. I'm Todd Walsh with Oliver Ekman Larson. Oliver, it was a good start, it looked like, to this game, but how has San Jose taken control, A and B? How do you get back? 